Okay, hi, I'm Jia Wei. If you don't already know me, uh, you can find me at Hey Jia Wei. I'm quite consistent, so if you Google this, you can see me. Oh. So for this learning public movement, uh, I, would j I would want to talk about how I started learning, uh, like learning, yeah. So not very long ago, I used to type out my notes and I do it in a Word document because I'm very old school. And, but I, I was clever enough to put them in Google Drive so I can access it every, anytime. Uh, needless to say, the Word document grew very long. La. Then it became very hard to navigate to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? And also because like, uh, sometimes we read faster than we type. What I did was I just copy paste the whole entire chunk and throw it into the document. So I don't really process what I read. I don't really know what I don't know. And uh, this came, became more problematic uh, after that. And also when you work with a Word document, you don't really, um, if you do lazy note taking, you just put everything inside. So when it comes to reviewing your notes, like you don't really actually review your notes. So after this, I stopped doing this and I move on to uh, note taking it in another way, which is a text document. Yeah, and uh, still very lazy. But uh, with a text document, I don't draw use diagrams anymore. So with this, I have a constraint that I have to write out whatever concept in words. So I actually have to write out my, uh, whatever I understand conceptually into words. And then uh, after that, Sean gave a speech about learning in public and then I upload this onto GitHub. Then I realized that I cannot copy and paste because I might be sued for plagiarism. So I had to do it with my own words. So I started writing with my own words. Yeah, and that's how I actually try, um, managed to internalize some of the concepts better. And I feel that when you do it in your own words, like when you type it out in your own words, you do understand your, the concepts a lot better. So this kind of learning, work, learning actually worked better for me. So very weird, but yeah. Then uh, I, I started to like try doing it publicly. I wrote an article like a few weeks after he gave his speech. I was like, yes, the internet will correct me because of this like, self-correcting mechanism that the internet does, right? Sadly, uh, that's not true. Nobody read it. <laughs> so, right, until today, I still don't really know how to read the man page synopsis. And uh, I, I only have a pathetic 11 views. I think I contributed half of it. So, yeah. Uh, this is when I started reflecting about this learning public movement. Like, is it really effective? Like, it worked for them. Why didn't it work for me, right? So, like... First thing first, better SEO title. <laughs> yeah. Then secondly, uh, do know that you can be ignored because the internet is so big, like nobody might find your article at all, right? It could just never exist. And uh, also throughout writing this article, what really stood out to me was that I spent a lot of time communicating the idea, but I don't really spend a lot of time internalizing the like the concept, like why, why they do it in a certain way or something like that. So for me, this was a, a huge like warning sign because it was like, why am I spending a lot of time on a skill that is not something I set out to learn to begin with? Yeah, so uh, you may experience this, you may not, but uh, I just want to highlight, highlight that this is actually uh, something that I think is a barrier to quite a number of us. So, am I still learning in public? Uh, I, I do RK talk, so yeah. And I still have to manage a lot of this ad hoc stuff. Like, I must make sure I speak in proper English so you can understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and after, after speaking in a talk, I, I feel somewhat proud. Yeah. Like, I did something, yeah. So, how am I learning now? Uh, the note-taking part was unique, maybe unique to me, but I feel that for me, the best way of learning is to actually apply the concepts. So for me, pet projects uh, is the best way for, of learning. Uh, whether you talk about it or not, I don't think it actually matters because you, you yourself would, after you do it, you would know it. And 
uh, with that in mind, I would try to structure projects that uh, hit the concepts and the tools that I want to learn so that I know that I know I've learned them. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs>